Tell you what, Dave, you know a guy is loved, that he is actually cared for by people that have never met him, never spoken to him, when your phone starts buzzing about news surrounding him. I had all these people hitting me up. Is Riz okay? What's going on with Riz? Do you know what's going on? Is he going to be surgery? Is he going to, is he going to be out for long? Is, is he on the IL? What's going on? I don't know. I'm not next to him. But we are talking to him now. He is with us on the Emerald Queen Casino Sportsbook Hotline. Our buddy, our pal, Rick Riz. How are you, my friend? Hey, Bob. Hey, David. How you guys doing? Um, to be honest with you, I've been better. <laughs> but, uh, I had a rough uh, journey up the mountains uh, about five days ago or less, uh, Wednesday with my son, Nick. Thank goodness Nick was there. And we were having a great time. I'm riding in a side-by-side, and he's riding in his on his dirt bike, and we're just going to the top of the mountain. We're riding all over the place. He said, Dad, I want to take you where um, you know, I snowmobiled during the course of the winter. It was just absolutely beautiful up there at Blue Pass, and we just had a wonderful time. And all of a sudden, uh, on the way down, somewhere on the way down, not too far from where he had his car parked for the uh, vehicles was um, a turn, I guess. I took this turn, and I don't remember anything after that. Uh, but as you, the uh, side-by-side flipped over. I was inside, banged my head pretty good, and Nick somehow, some way, was able to get me out of it and put me on the side of the trail and then um, get the side-by-side back up. And uh, he said, Dad, uh, I'll, I'll drive you down the mountain. I said, I guess I said, I know I can do it. You know, I'll, I'll drive back down. We'll get it trailered and <clears throat> and head to the hospital because I was bleeding. So um, <clears throat> I drove it back down, and uh, he got me to the hospital right away. It was a pretty long ride, and I don't remember the ride. I don't remember the crash. And uh, then I got to the hospital, and the, the people in the emergency room at Swedish there in Issaquah, they were outstanding. They got me uh, cleaned up, and um, so they were able to send me home. And then we took x-rays and an MRI, and I had a uh, fracture of a vertebrae in my neck, and a couple vertebrae were fractured in the, my back, and uh, I had a fractured rib. My head was banged up pretty good, but other than that, guys, I feel great. <laughs> and, uh, oh man, really, buddy, we were so better, but... so worried about you, and I I know how tough that is. You know when you, especially when you have uh, ribs that um, you know it's it's hard to talk, much less call a game, right? I mean, that's what what's uh, what's kind of bothering you the most right now. Right now, it's just my back. Yeah, uh, you know, I got uh, some pretty good meds to take care of the pain for the back. And uh, it was really tough getting in bed, really tough getting out of bed in the morning. But thank God I had uh, Nick with me uh, day and night and also Greta Niehaus. Uh, she's like my daughter. I love her so much. Uh, she knew something was wrong. And she texted Nick while we were still on the mountains. And uh, she said, are you guys back yet? And Nick's tech text back, no, I'm taking, a, taking Dad to the hospital. And she met me at the hospital along with Marilyn. And she was there. She's been my been my side the whole time. And thank God she took care of things because I don't remember anything. Uh, the accident itself, the ride to the hospital, too much in the hospital. And she wrote all this stuff down. And and her and Nick got my meds. And, uh, and I got on that when I got home. And um, so uh, she's been an angel. So is Nick. And uh, without them, I would have been in deep trouble. But, um, you know, it's... Uh, it's uh, <laughs> unbelievable but uh, i'm feeling much better today guys i can't wait to get back i saw they said i had to see a spine specialist right away which i did three days ago dr chapman and uh, before i saw him guys i had uh, more x-rays of my back and my neck and we waited and Greta and i and nick were in the examination room and he came in he was a great doctor he said mr riz you're a lucky man he said you won't need surgery and i went oh thank god yeah So uh, I won't need surgery, but I just have to rest up and kind of take it easy for a while. He said, I know what you do. He said, I'll try to get you back here maybe by the end of the homestand, depending on how you're feeling, or maybe you might have to set out the next road trip. So it's how I feel here in the next few days because I'm going to go to the specialist, go get more MRIs in my back and neck tomorrow, and uh, and then we'll see what those look like. But... uh, uh, other than that, you know, I'm I'm hanging in there. I'm 
feeling good. Spent a lot of time at home here with Nick and Greta and watching movies. And Sparky's been taking great care of me, my cat. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm going to be all right, guys. I, I feel so much better today. This was the first day I felt like I didn't have to take my meds. And then early, late in the morning, I go, no, I got to take it. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I'm going to, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be all right. Well, it's uh, that's that's a relief to a lot of people that are listening, Riz. As you know, you're you're loved out here, and I wasn't kidding. I got. I'm sure Dave had the same thing, but just a lot of people buzzing my phone, you know, looking for updates and 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 everything, you know, prognosis. When's he coming back? I'm like, I I don't know. I haven't haven't heard, haven't spoken, but uh, good to hear a that no surgery is required. That's that's big. And then, yeah, if, if you yeah. got to miss time, you got to miss time, but you'll be back and better than ever. And we had Mike Blowers was back on the broadcast last night, which was great to hear. Oh, that was great. That was great to hear his voice. It was fantastic. I'm so glad he's back. Yeah. So did were you were you able to – I know you've been watching movies and stuff. Did you – I think the team was inspired – by you know, hey, let's do let's let's do this for Riz. Let's let's win one for Riz. And they went out there and put it on the twins for you. I don't know, was, uh, but they they played great last night. Uh, you know, Logan Gilbert and Bryce Miller the last couple of days. Uh, that was a big win, you know, against Minnesota. So I'm happy for the guys. You know, that they're, they're going to get there. They're, this is just too good of a team. Scott Service, I've said it a million times, has done a great job. The team should have been the manager of the year last year and even the year before and they they don't they don't give up you know that's it's like life and baseball you don't you don't give up and uh they just don't they find ways to plug away and get you know plug away some wins make up that deficit they're still right there right now in the wild card and um i i think they're going to make the playoffs again here in the second half of the season i really do well, you can't give up. Yeah. Hey, Rick, just hold off on the holy smokes. Screaming the holy smokes out. You got to <laughs> just yeah. delay that by a week or so. Take care of yourself. We want you back strong for uh, the run to the playoffs, buddy. Yeah, no, I'm, that's exactly, David, what I'm going to do. My my phone has been ringing off the hook and text, and I just love it. Uh, the day after the accident, John Stanton called me, and that was really nice to have that conversation. Of course, Kevin Martinez. I've got the two best bosses anybody could possibly have. They're, they've been outstanding. Uh, Jay Buhner called me. Uh, Junior called me up. Oh, nice. uh, he, this was the day after the All-Star game. He calls me up. He said, Rick, I said, hey, Junior, how are you doing? He said, I leave you for one damn day and you try to kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh, Junior. Oh. Don't make me laugh. It hurts, man, when I laugh. Yeah, and then and, our, uh, I think our buddy Adam uh, Ray called you too, which probably didn't help you not yeah. laugh either. Yeah. No, he he's incredible. I, I love that guy. He's so talented and such a great friend. And So, no, I, I'm, I'm doing super considering what I went through. Uh, I'm not going to be getting on a side by side anytime soon or ever. Yeah. And uh, but uh, we we were having such a great time. It was something that my son and I were planning on doing the day after the All Star game. And I just hit. Uh, There's kind of rocky up there, the trails, and I guess I just hit something and off I went. So, but I'm going to be fine. I feel great today compared to how I felt, uh, you know, five days ago. And um, hopefully, I won't have to take these meds anymore and when i feel like i can walk it's a little bit of a struggle right now trying to get the mailbox and back but my doctor told me you got to get up and walk and so i'm doing that so i i feel i feel really really good i'm very lucky uh, somebody was looking out for me yeah it, not not your time my friend you got way too much time with us so uh yeah you just rest up take care it's it's great to hear your voice and i know you put a lot of fans minds at ease so uh just can't wait to hear you back in the booth my friend we love you and just take care and if, of course if you need anything you know we, we got you oh, i appreciate that bob and dave uh, thank you very much